Dave O'Grady here for Sport Deck. I'm delighted to be joined by Dennis Vahey, a photographer who's out here filming the Irish fans. Dennis, how did you get into this and what is it that appeals to you most about football fans and why you want to snap them? Um, well, first off, I'm a, I'm a commercial portrait photographer. That's my day job. Um, so it's, this is just a personal project that I started a couple of months back. Um, it was an idea I've had for, I've had for some time because I've been traveling to away games and obviously home games for a long time now. And um, I always brought the camera and I just decided, you know what, I need to do a personal project on this. It's a non-commercial thing. And uh, it's it's a break away from the daily, the daily stuff. And um, yeah, I, I suppose the Irish fans just there's just something about us, isn't there? You know, and, and it's a it's a common it's something we all have in common, and uh, there's something special about these away trips. You know, some of the things you must have seen while you were gone away must have got you thinking about it. Was there anything in particular that you noticed on these trips that thought, yes, I want to do this on a professional basis? Yeah, um, there was no real eureka moment, I suppose, when we, when we do score, which would be few and far between. There, there, you know, there's always those manic looks on people's faces um and i guess it was it was I, I i think it was kind of the celebrations um you know behind stands or something where i i kind of said you know what i need to record this in some way and um while while i do you know concentrate on getting portraits i also bring the camera to the games and stuff and, and record what's happening in and around the match as well um so i suppose there was no one eureka moment but just a, a combination of, of a few things together you know and your favorite type of footage to capture you know when you're if you want to document something or you want to go to a far-flung places because as we've seen last summer at the euros the irish fans became famous or yeah. more famous than they already are but you know what type of things is your most favorite type thing to capture oh well I, portraits i just yeah. i love meeting people having a chat and then taking their photograph simple as that i that's my favorite uh, without a shadow of a doubt um i don't ask people to do anything out of the ordinary you know if they have a scarf they have a bit of a color flag great you know but um usually it's just a straight on portrait that's what i want to get and um I, I look at everything else around that, what I'm doing on, uh, at the match and getting a stadium shot as, you know, it, it, it's subsidiary to it. You know, I love it too, but uh, it's portraits. That's my main gig. Where have you been so far with the Irish fans? Um, I, this is actually the only, the, the second leg away that I've done. Um, I think I've been to over 10 away uh, trips myself. Always brought the camera, but the, the, the actual portrait series, the Green Army portrait series, this is the, the second one. Moldova, to answer your question, uh, was the, the first one last month and uh, it went down a storm. I, I think I got almost um, 15 portraits and um, I think in Vienna I'll have something similar as well, you know? Yeah, you've got a couple of pictures that I you've taken, indeed. just a couple of printouts. Um, now, some of these are, I'll just show our viewers there, some of these are real stories to tell. So like, just to explain that one first for our listener, you've got, what I can see is a tank <laughs> with an Irish flag, Coy Big Waterford. Can you tell us yeah. a little bit about that one? So uh, this is Darren. Um, I suppose, you know, he's my friend now. <laughs> that's that's the beauty of these portraits. They're not just quick snaps. You know, they're five ten minutes of a chat, and then we take the take the actual photo. It's actually quite quick. But I get to know these people, and uh, Darren, Darren's a great guy. He um, and uh, a guy called Paul Hickey uh, found this open uh, air museum in uh, downtown Chisnell, and uh, they just had all these old Soviet era era um, armor there, and. Uh, yeah, we just we just walked in. It was open to the public, and we took took some Let's photographs. Give us a look at the photo there. This is a, a photo that, I mean, it's probably a photo that people will never see in history, Dennis. I mean, <laughs> an Irish, an Irish person with an Irish hat, scarf, clothes, flags, standing beside a Soviet tank. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. got a lot of character to it. <laughs> I think you know? um, I could be taking portraits like this for a long time more and uh, I'll probably never get something like that again, you know. Yeah, special. Um, it was pretty special. What else have you got there? So uh, this is uh, Derek Cochran. And uh, I was on my way back to the to the hotel in Chisholm. I was just dropping back to gear before the match and I bumped into, Dar into Darren and a few mates just outside my hotel and I got the flats in the background. And yeah, I really like this one as well. Nice guy. And, and again, getting to know all these guys is, is great, and I'll meet them on future trips as well. The funny thing about this is um, there's a wedding uh, in the hotel while I'm taking this, just behind us. 
and uh, Darren and I, we, we decided to get crashed the wedding. Uh, we were not, we were invited in uh, to just say hello. I got a nice photograph of him inside as well, and. The, the locals gave us um, some vodka to, 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 to celebrate the wedding. There was something <laughs> similar back in Poland, I think, when the Irish fans gate crashed a wedding during the <laughs> Euro 2012 and ended up teaching the bride and groom how to play hurling. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> really? So, yeah, that was one of those, those moments as well, you know. Fantastic. What else have you got there? All right. Um, yeah, so Paul here uh, was, um, he was, he's, uh, he was with, with Dara. And uh, yeah, that, just sitting beside the wedding there. I love it because uh, Paul was just sitting there, <laughs> smoking his fag. He didn't have to do anything. Watching the world you know? go by. Yeah, exactly. He was just chilled out. And nice. uh, I, I think uh, most uh, most people, uh, everybody I've photographed, they're happy to, to, to do it. And uh, they're just chilled out about it. You know, there's nothing, nothing major to it. Whoa. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Brilliant. Sorry. <laughs> that's, that's what happens when the football football hits the, the camera stand. Great stuff. We're still going, though. Uh, I hope a goal doesn't come from it. Uh, we're here at the fans match in Vienna. Uh, that's a terrific photo. Yeah. What else have we got there? See, I, I, I also sh shoot groups uh, as well outside uh, one of the hotels in Moldova. But I think the beauty of this one is I don't think many of these guys actually knew one another, you know, and, and that, that's what I find when I set up the light and the camera, I find people are just kind of gathering, they want to know what's going on, and uh, I often just get a couple of group shots then as well, and you know, I, this is the beauty of these trips, people, they just think to, they just, you know, everyone's just in the one boat, and we're Fabulous. all having a, having a laugh together. Yeah, and they've got the Aran Naveen, the anthems on the flag there, but none of them knew each other yeah probably from all different backgrounds in yeah, ireland as well exactly yeah incredible exactly i love it uh gavin fahey one of the um, the first portraits and um it's it's probably still my favorite i think that there's just a lot going on he um he bought the uh the gear in different parts uh, off different parts of the internet um, it's vintage, it's old school, it's yeah, the real that's deal. that's the old Opal jersey. Yeah, um, yeah. Was that World Cup 94? Or was it the qualifications for I World Cup I think you're right. 94? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely early 90s anyway, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I remember Jack Tra and the, the jacket. Um, Jack Charlton wore that jacket. <laughs> yeah, I it was hanging off him. It was hanging <laughs> off him <laughs> I love yeah. it, you know. And maybe that was what inspired Arsene Wenger with the Arsenal. There cause it, there's kind of a few <laughs> little similarities. Yeah, I, I, I think um, yeah, Gavin has it going on. He ju he'd received that scar. I'm not sure if you can see Let's it there. He, he received it, I think, oh, about yeah. a, three weeks beforehand. He was playing in a fans game, something similar to what's going on behind us here in Budapest. And uh, yeah, he got a real nasty scar for himself there. And he was he was happy to show it. <laughs> he um, Where was that photo taken? That was actually? taken outside um, Slattery's pub in Beggar's Bush yeah. uh, before one of the um, home games. It was before the Euros. And um, yeah. He's he's a good guy, Gavin. He he cycled uh, to France for the Euros. Really? Yeah, I met him over there a couple wow. on a couple How of occasions. How long did that take? I'm not sure actually. Yeah, but I'm doing some of those amazing. type of charity stuff. Yeah, yeah, it was for charity. I couldn't tell you what charity. Yeah, no, he did it for. But yeah, fair play to him. Impressive. So it's Gavin Fahey. Check out his work. Impressive. This one. Yeah, we've got Paul Hickey and his son here again outside Slattery's and Beggars Bush. Uh, yeah, I love it. I love getting you, the. You kind of know there's you know that that's Ireland. I and like yeah. I'm, I'm not an expert on photography at all, but it's there's something about it that tells me that's not a far flung place. Yeah, you know, that's a, a, yeah. a, a local shot. Well, I guess I'm trying to um, to do that. You know, I mean, it, it, to make sure that you know it's a portrait, but also the background shows exactly where 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 um, where where it is. You know. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a, a terrific one, and that I think that captures the essence of what Irish fans are. You know, yeah. particularly the fans that are going to the games at home. You know, yeah. uh, at the Aviva Stadium, it's families and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've met Paul on a couple of occasions since, um, and fo I photographed him in Moldova as well, be um, beside uh, some of that Soviet era gear as well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's a good guy. And here in Austria, Dennis, what kind of stuff have you gotten so far? Obviously, you're out here snapping the fans <laughs> match, but. Um, You've been here a few days now. Have you got a good uh, package? Yeah, I'm really happy. I, I've got some really good, good portraits. Um, it, last night in Charlie P's, very good to me. Let me take over one area of the snug, uh, of the snug area of the bar, and got some lovely portraits with some really cool people, and um, good fun. And got some uh, near Charlie's then uh, this morning, and again 
really good people and great. You're, get, you're getting people in a good mood though. I as think well, so. Yeah. You know, yeah you know. Would this good, good inspire fun. you to now uh, maybe start snapping more obscure football? You know, as in fans of t of clubs that maybe not international, but clubs that are not so well known. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I mean. You know, when you start a personal project like this, you, you, you start thinking, right, what's next? And it, it, at the moment, this is pr pretty, um, there's no goal in sight other than just taking taking portraits. I don't know where it's going to end up, but I, I have noticed since I have started doing it, especially on the away trips now, I'm starting to get new, newer, newer ideas. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to look at um, possibly League of Ireland fans or something like that, you know. And very finally, any more Ireland trips on the horizon? Yeah, absolutely. They, they, not for a while now, unfortunately. Uh, ne next year, is, uh, September is Georgia, and uh, I'll be doing it there, and then also in Wales. I'd imagine Tbilisi will provide some great spectacles. Yeah, yeah I'm really looking yeah. forward to it. Should yeah. be good. Listen, Dennis Fahey, thanks a million for joining us on Sport Deck. We wish you the very best of luck going forward with the photography and, and some terrific snaps of Irish fans, and we'll chat to you again soon. Cheers.